Another method of mounting the eye alert too is to mount it directly to the, iron, the cast iron surface by drilling and tapping a quarter 28 hole to a depth of a quarter inch into the casting. Be sure and check the drawing or the print to make sure that there is enough casting thickness to get to, get to the required depth without broaching the, broaching the uh, casting. For this situation, we'll use the quarter 28 fastener, inch and an eighth inch long. We'll drill and tap the casting using a standard, a standard tap drill size for quarter 28. And it's a good idea to use a cower stop on the drill bit so that you don't go too deep into the casting. Once the hole is drilled, brush, off the, brush aside the chips, clean the hole, possibly with some air, and you're ready to tap. Using a quarter 28 tap, simply thread down to the required quarter inch depth. Being very careful to back the tap out as needed to get a good thread cut. Once again, using the quarter 28 inch and an eighth screw. Tighten the eye alert down, making sure that the LEDs are aligned with the shaft of the rotating equipment. Hand tighten it first. Then use the torque wrench to finish tighten to six foot pounds. To mount the eye alert too, using the provided plate on a, on a rounded surface, you align the eye alert too with the non-threaded hole in the plate. Everything over the surface, over the threaded hole in the, in the equipment, drop the quarter 28 inch and a half fastener through the eye alert and the through hole in the plate and tighten the entire assembly, making sure to keep the LEDs square with the parallel with the shaft. And finish tighten, once again, do six foot-pounds.